Oh my gosh, guys, is that what I think it is? I think the sun is coming up behind the clouds. Yay! There it is. Hello everybody, this is me and today I am vlogging. It's also that really weird in between weather today where it feels really warm when the sun's out. As you can see, the sun is shining here in England. It's feeling so spring-like. We've also got some birds tweeting in the background as well today. Um, so that's been really nice. Um, but then when the sun does go behind the clouds, it feels a little bit chilly. So because it's quite mild and warm today, which is so weird for England, um, I'm actually gonna be taking the donkey's rugs off, giving them a full groom, picking out all of their hooves and letting them have some naked time today. Also, today I'm planning on giving Casper a little bit of a mini makeover because at the moment he is a bog monster. His tail has grown so long because Casper has the thickest, longest tail. It's literally dragging on the ground now and it's so muddy. And also I want to try and sort his mane out as well because it's a little bit nasty at the moment. So that's the plan for today. I've already fed the animals and everything so the first thing I need to do is wash up all of the buckets. It was so adorable because Willow was actually licking her lips and looked so cute because she was trying to get the food out of her teeth and I just find Willow's little freckly nose is just so sweet like it's like kind of like a little goat or like a little camel nose because it's so small especially when you compare it to the horses particularly Mickey because he is so licky and slobbery but anyway I just gave her a little scratch and then Bruno came along because Bruno always loves the attention whenever I'm here Toby's just you know chilling and grazing so it's now time to take their rugs off Hey my love How are you? It was so nice to see the donkeys having some naked time out in the field. You could kind of see where their rugs have been sitting because their coats all kind of flattened. But after a groom, they did look really good. And then Toby came over because I think he was missing a bit of the attention, a bit of the love, so he came over for some scratches. And the donkeys are actually looking in pretty good condition because usually in the winter, them being desert animals, they have to wear their rugs quite a lot because their coat just isn't as waterproof compared to the horses. They're not used to the wetness and the rain and things. So they're actually looking quite good, especially Bruno, who we always struggle a little bit with his weight. He's always a little bit more on the chunky side, but he's actually looking pretty good right now. But I can't cuddle donkeys all day unfortunately so now it's time to go and give Casper a little bit of a haircut. Okay guys it's now time to sort out Casper and I'll just end some clips here so you can see the state of him right now. His legs are so hairy that the mud hasn't actually dried from last night like I put him in his stable pretty early last night around five six o'clock and his legs are still wet from the mud last night. But that is how thick and hairy his legs are, so I need to sort them out. I also really need to do Casper's tail, because again, it's so long, it's dragging on the floor, covered in mud, so that really needs sorting out. I really need to sort out his mane, because it is just mud dreadlocks. It's so long, it's so difficult to brush through. Every time I ride him, his mane, when I take him up from the field, looks like that, and I have to brush it through, and it takes forever. This time of year having a long mane is just not practical at all in England. He doesn't need it too much because it's not like there are loads of flies out and it's the summer. He doesn't need to swish anything away. So I regret to say that I am actually going to give it a bit of a chop. Now I know the one thing that you shouldn't do with horses is use scissors on their mane and I'm going to get so much backlash for this but since I've owned Casper every time I've done his mane I've always used scissors and I put posts on my Instagram of what the after looks like and I've always got so many compliments on it wait till the end and you can see because Casper is such a sensitive horse he hates having his mane pulled so rather than him being in stress and discomfort 
I'm gonna use the scissors. I'm gonna try and make it look as natural as I possibly can. So guys, trust me on this one. It's gonna look all right. You've seen it cut before and haven't complained about it on my Instagram when you've seen it cut before. So it's gonna be okay. Just gonna trust me on this one and let's go for it. Now we're both crying now. Every brick we stacked falling down in a place I love. Somewhere we were stars Okay guys, I've now brought Casper into his stable and I'm actually going to cut his mane in here because it is so windy outside and the last thing I want to do is cut his mane when it's going in all different directions and then it's going to be so wonky. Like when you first cut it, like I never um, do his mane or anything before something important such as like a photo shoot or a show or an event or anything like that so the reason why I'm doing it now is because we have nothing scheduled it's January like it's gonna grow back if it does go badly but um, I don't particularly want to do it outside in the wind so we're doing it here in the stable so let's see how it goes Paint the sky and burn it out in the get found in the place I've gone sing itself out like a song well, don't look at me like I'm wrong oh, 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 Alrighty everybody, here is the finished look. Obviously it's not perfect. I always say when it comes to doing mains, you can't really do it in one day. I like to do it over quite a few days um, just to sort of make it a little bit more even, thin it out a bit more because it is quite on the thick side. Um, so I just need to do that a little bit more. Also Casper has a curly mane as you can see right at the front. So it's always quite difficult to get it perfectly straight just because it's curly. Another day I probably will give it a little bit of a wash through. I also I also did this thing with the scissors where you kind of chop upwards just to soften it up, neaten it up and I found that worked so well to make it look a lot more natural but honestly it doesn't look half bad so I'm really happy with how it looks. Casper's also regrown his coat so quickly like he needs clipping again so um, be sure to look out for another clipping video because this guy gets a little bit sweaty after riding. <laughs> Now his mane is done, it's time to go onto his legs and his tail because that thing is literally dragging on the ground. I would fight for you if I could win. I would die for you and live in sin in a place I loved. Bleeding it out through the heart. Dying somewhere we would start. Okay, everybody, this is now the finished look. I also got Casper a hay neck, because bless him, he had to stand still for a really long time. So his legs did take quite a while. I had to give them a bit of a wash off because they were so muddy, a bit of a brush off. I only took off his feathers and did a little bit of trimming on his leg hair because it was so long, just because when I have to boot him up for things like show jumping, for leg protection, it's just such a pain when his legs are muddy and the mud just doesn't dry. Then you have to wash it off with a hose pipe. So for me, maintenance reasons over the winter is going to be so much easier. It definitely doesn't look the prettiest, but it's so much better than it was before. Now it's time to muck out and sort out these stables. So here is a before of Casper's. Casper's stable after. And here is a before of Mickey's. 
and Mickey's stable after. Okay everybody, now I've transformed Casper and he looks so much better. It's now time to tack him up and get him ready for pole work. When I'm with you, there's no reason for why I'm intoxicated by your side. Nothing in the world is gonna beat this high. I've been searching for all of my life. When I'm with you It's funny to think We should know Oh, and it's love Casper's now all untacked, his nose is dripping because he's just had some water but to reward him for being a good boy at the end anyway because we did get a little bit excited at one point didn't we? You can have some treats, oh nice and slobbery, <laughs> I love his little moustache as well. Well done Casp, good boy. And we can't forget about you either Mix, good boy you can have a treat as well. Do you want the second one? Oh, good man.